so this is the regato os and this is specifically made for people who are into gaming and wants the best performance so let's take a closer look at it and also learn how to install it towards the end now this runs on the latest kde plasma desktop environment the version 6 update so you will notice the similar looking widgets and the icons so we have a separate uh, icon for the mic so you can mute it with one click and also for the wi-fi and the speaker and everything now coming to the customization and wallpaper so we do not see a lot of wallpapers and the ones we have it is the from the kde plasma 6 update and also the default one it sim looks similar to that of the samsung tablets with this orange and blue and we also get the light mode and dark mode options so you can, with simple click you can choose between them but we also have a lot of themes which, which i will show you later now apart from these options we have settings uh, related to the touchpad and the touch screen so if you have a laptop that supports the touch screen this is going to be really helpful with the latest KDE Plasma 6 we have a lot of options for the touch screens so you, you should not find any kind of issue regarding that now these are the theme option that should have been in under the uh, customization option itself so you can just simply apply it and this dark theme is really cool we have this slightly blurred background which looks quite premium and this uh, is applied towards the wall like the wi-fi and the app launcher so that is quite cool we also have the light mode and the dark mode of the combination of both and similar to all the KDE Plasma, we have the widgets, icon colors and the icon shapes and uh, different icon packs, we can choose between them. Now you can see this is the latest Regato OS, the Arctic Fox update. And I have the Ryzen 5 uh, processor and, looks, and it works quite well here. So now coming to the app stores, we have the Regato OS store, not the default KDE Plasma store. Um, this is a lot better in my opinion, we get the DaVinci Resolve as well here and you can easily install it with one click for development we have the android studio the visual code studio um, so i think this is a really better app store and we can just click and install the, all these applications without any issues now like i mentioned this is more of a gaming specific linux distro so we have support for the controllers and you can easily customize and remap the buttons and it will all recognize it without any issues and uh, we also get the form performance tool here so you can easily check out your uh, gpu and their specifications here that you can see here i have a 1 gb dedicated gpu so this similarly you can check out yours and uh, you can also check out your vram usage which is quite cool so how much your vram has been used you can check in this um, this uh, really helpful tool and we also have support for the vulcan test applications so how much memory it is using and your the temperature and everything you can manually monitor here so these are really advanced options that i haven't seen in many of the other linux like nobara os which are gaming specific linux distros and we also get the steam application by default installed here and you can easily install any of the games that you want so i have installed this combat master which is uh, a very really lightweight game for uh, the more of a cod style call of duty style so let's start and check out how it performs since i am recording the screen it's going to be really laggy and also i do not have the best uh, lag laptop it's very good range Now apart from this Steam application, we also have this Regato OS Game Center. Uh, it features all these online applications, the game applications and websites like the Battle.net or the EA app or the Ubisoft. So you can log in with your account and then download all these games of your choice. Uh, it's going to set up everything for you so you do not uh, have to spend a lot of time tinkering around to make it work. 
so this is really cool that they have provided it and uh, really easy for the gaming enthusiasts and we also have this easy to use uh, troubleshooting application so you are facing uh, issues regarding your network or the drivers you can easily uh, update it with one click it also has a lot of the nvidia drivers and amd drivers in built so if you have dedicated gpu you should not face any kind of issues and apart from all these gaming applications we also have the built-in only office and uh, this is a really good alternative to the uh, microsoft office office tools the word and the powerpoint and excel so you can use it or you can install the library office if you want and it works quite well here so you you can do your gaming and also your work without any issues now if you start typing on your desktop you can access the global search option and search for any of the applications that is installed or any of the files that you have on your computer so it's a pretty handy feature in a lot of uh, scenarios and also if you just hover your mouse towards the uh, left edge you can uh, access all your multitasking uh, apps that are opened up in the background so you can easily switch between them and the performance has been really good here without any issues i'm running an i have an 8gb ram and all the apps opening and everything has been quite smooth so now let's move on and learn how to install it on your computer so first we will download the regato os official image iso image from their website and uh, it is quite simplified and do not see a lot of options just a single download option so download the latest version we all will also download the Belina Azure application to create the bootable drive and uh, now open the Belina Azure application and choose the regato os file now select your pen drive and just click on the flash process to start the uh, to create the bootable drive now uh, before proceeding make sure you back up everything and uh, before we will uh, it will replace the windows application the windows operating system and now power off your device and press the bios key and the bios make sure you disable the secure boot option now similarly power off and then press the boot menu key to access your pen drives and now choose your pen drive from the list for me it is the third option now choose the first option which is the regato s 24 or the latest version now, after lots of loading and stuff it is open up in the home screen now double click on the regato s installer option it's going to open the installer menu now do the basic settings of choosing your language now here i will choose the ls disk option which is the third option you can also install it in dual boot with windows so you will find that guide in the description now after confirming everything just press on next and finally it will start to install and after the installation it will ask you to create a username and password after that you will boot into the regato os so that was it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching